Mobile internet penetration in the country is growing at one and a half times annually. And with Filipinos spending more time on the internet, businesses are taking advantage to capture the market via the digital highway. Let's bring in Zalora Philippines co-founder and managing director Paolo Campos to talk to us about the state of e-commerce in the country. Paolo, good to have you with us. Hi, good afternoon. Well, what, look, what's the state of play of e-commerce in the country? What barriers are there and how do you overcome them? I think in general, the state of play is super exciting. Um, a few statistics. 2016 is the first year where the Philippines has reached the global average in terms of internet penetration at 46%. So there are now 46 million Filipinos with access to the internet. Um, of those that are online though, you know that we're the number one country in the world in terms of time spent online. So to your point, uh, it's super exciting. Uh, E-commerce is growing uh, very, very quickly. Uh, in terms of constraints, it would still be uh, internet speed and access primarily. We still have among the slowest uh, internet connection speeds in the region. And that really is uh, kind of drag, holding us back a little bit. Uh, but in general, the future is very bright and uh, it's very exciting times to be in e-commerce in the Philippines. Well, let's hope the DICT, the, the, the PCC, and actually the <laughs> Telgo players get to be their acts together as well. Now, you, to use your words, we're looking at explosive growth, um, but also an increasingly competitive landscape. Already we've seen departures of some e-commerce players, Happy Fresh being one of them. What are the drivers for success in this increasingly competitive landscape? Yeah, at the end of the day, it's customer experience. I mean, e-commerce is still something new. It's still something that Filipinos are uh, learning to adopt. Uh, so the, what's going to differentiate the successful players from the, the unsuccessful ones would be you know, how you treat your customer. At the end of the day, Filipinos are still uh, taking a risk in trying out e-commerce. And if you don't meet uh, the service level that, that they expect, that you're really going to fall by the wayside. So I think in the increasingly competitive state of the world, of the Philippines, um, it will be you know, down to whoever can and meet customer needs best. Well, to that point, I mean, customer fulfillment is going to be key. So yes. the question I have is, how are you planning to manage that given the archipelago, yes. the logistical restraints, and at the same time, innovative uh, you know, initiatives by your customers? Yes. What are you looking at in terms of reaching the customer more? Yes. Uh, what we've had to do over the course of the past five years that Zalora has been operating here in the Philippines is that we've set up last mile delivery hubs in key cities nationwide. Uh, the last one we opened just last month was in Tacloban, for example. So, uh, so as each uh, key city around the Philippines uh, adopts e-commerce in a bigger and bigger way, we're then able to uh, reach uh, the customer closer by setting up these last mile delivery hubs in these On the places. last count, you've got 12 and are planning to add three. The question I have is, what is your target turnaround delivery time in, in terms of you know, speed now? Exactly. So in these key cities where we do have our last mile delivery hub, it's two, two to three days. So it's uh, almost as fast as you would get it in Metro Manila. So I think that's one uh, key aspect to customer experience is how you know, fast and reliably you get the, the, the package to a customer. But look, you've got a narrow uh, product portfolio. You're looking at fashion yes. as well, but how do you grow that portfolio horizontally with established brands, but also move up up-and-coming designers as you're doing in Indonesia. Tell us how you're doing about doing it here. Exactly. Um, we have a two-pronged approach in some sense. So, um, you know, we're working with uh, the big brands to e e um, extend their assortment on, on Zalora and to have um, essentially more, more products available. Um, with the up-and-coming designers and local Philippine talent, that's a key focus for us going into next year. Uh, we're bringing on board a, a series of uh, local Philippine designers uh, to, 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 to basically sell on Zalora. Um, and that's something we'll be announcing in first quarter next year with a very exciting lineup of uh, local designers. All right, Paula, we'll have to leave it at that, but thank you so much Great, for your insights you so and all much. the best with the business. Thank you for your time.